Why aren't you helping? Kill them. Why do they respawn? Alright, we are back for another video on YouTube. Today we are playing um, another time. Uh, don't bite me, bro. This time we are using a DualShock 4 controller for this because last time there was an issue where we couldn't open the map because we weren't using a DualShock 4 controller. Or DualSense controller depending on which one you can use. But I'm using a DualShock 4 at the moment. Which is going to allow me to open a freaking map. And so my progress was deleted. So that sucks. So we're going to start over again. We're just going to skip the cutscene. And the tutorial. Because we already know how to play. Because you watched the, if you watched the first episode. You'll probably already know. I don't know if it, this game has been known to be a little bit buggy recently, where it doesn't save your progress. Oh gosh, this controller feels weird. Oh. Alright, and we gotta join the game. And watch hap what happens when you don't accept the tutorial. He just dies. He just straight up dies. It's the best thing. This game is a free game, and they said they were going to try to get this game on Xbox. But they never did. Now, here's one of the first few things you should do. Eat food. Oh, we don't have any. Another thing you should focus on first is coming up here and going to this little mine. If you go in the mine, it will pause the horde because it's important that we um, mine for some resources. You also want to watch out for these frickers. That's a glitch. Now these rocks right here, you're going to want to just destroy them. They give you plenty of resources to pick up. Once you have about, once you get a full inventory, you will have enough to upgrade your base camp, which is something you should do early on. So that swarms, so that way you have more time between each wave. I'm going to buy food though. Food allows you to heal. There are certain areas where you can get a large amount of food.
and if you upgrade your base camp, it will also slow the progress of the next horde, which is going to give you more time to build your base and recruit some players. There's also a DLC that this game has, but I never bought it because... Um, I just never felt like it. I did not know I could attack in a circle. Each rock gives you about two material. So it will greatly help. Also watch out for this stupid freaking candle. Now if you sit in a room too long, there will be these stupid little zombies that try to kill you, but they're very weak. See, when it comes to coming in this mine, it regenerates every time. It's more, this is supposed to be a dungeon. But I've been exploiting it as a mine to resource, to get to farm resources. And we then, and now we are bases at max level. There's only three levels you can really upgrade with. Now at the third level, the horde progresses extremely slowly, giving you time to explore the map. Can this freaking zombie leave me alone? I believe... I don't remember exactly where... There's another NPC. Cards give you a lot of resources. The only issue is they don't last forever. Now what I'm doing right now is unlocking this character, which is something you can do early on as well. Now one of the things I don't want to do in this series is to beat the game, because if you beat the game, it deletes your progress. As I kind of wanted to see how many waves I can get through. But that depends on if the game progress saves. Because there's been a um, random occurrence of your... Um, I need to get out of here. I don't like this character. There's one character that I do like, and that's the football player, because he could just kill everyone. Here's the farmer guy. Imagine phasing through a wall.
I gotta be careful. I don't want to die. I mean, I could respawn because I'm playing on easy mode. If There's only one difficulty level where you can't respawn, and that is hardcore mode which is even which is the highest difficulty level but you have to beat the game before you unlock that mode and what that means is if a character dies they're dead for the rest of the game within each horde there it starts out with two zombies every horde it grows by two zombies so in Horde 50, there will be 100 zombies. And so it's going to take a long time before it reaches that area. I think I slain them all. Nope. Yeah, you can attack zombies through walls, too. I was planning on harvesting the crops. Anyways, because I need food. Oh no, they're respawning. No! Panic mode, activate, run! Why aren't you helping? Kill them! Why did they respawn? Frick me. I dropped all my f stuff. What the frick? It's, they're everywhere. They freaking respawned everywhere. Look at the respawn zombies. See, these are the things I'm talking about. When you kill a zombie, they if you wait like two minutes, they turn into these. My controller's malfunctioning. What the frick? Just seriously just gonna run into a wall. There's my dead body. He gave me a shed key. I don't remember where to shed. I'm gonna die again. Oh my gosh. Commit this. I'm getting another character, and we're just gonna. Travel. Where's the football player at? Where's the car at? The car is right here. All right, we're just gonna drive. And we're gonna take this guy, send him back to the base so that I have him as a playable character because he's the strongest character in the game. This car's gonna die.
Well, I'm gonna have to. And we're out of gas. Well. Where'd he go? Back in the forest region. Where did he go? He like just glitched off the face of existence. Why did he just get flung to this random spot? And oh yeah, I also forgot to mention the football player is the slowest character in the whole freaking game. Oh, we gotta go north. Oh no. I was wondering where this freaking biome was. I don't know how to get out. You have to climb these bridges. Yeah, this is the pit of death. There we are. I think she's the easiest character to use to harvest crops. Oh, this is the worst time for a horde. And the horde is done. It's saving. It's saving. It just saved. Hopefully the progress still is there whenever I leave the game. I think it saves after every horde, so I have to wait an entire horde. Before I can even do anything else. How do I craft again? What button was it? There it is. So what I'm doing right now is planting trees, or not trees, some corn so that I have some to harvest later. I accidentally planted a tree. Great. And I also should have the football player to play as. And yeah. That's going to be the video. I'm going to save the game. I forgot this game manually saves. It doesn't automatically save. Which is why I couldn't save the game last time. 
if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We will see you guys next time.